Hello and welcome back to another episode of Kid in a Sweet Shop. So today is an A-Plan Insurance private clients episode. And do you know what that means? That means we have found another insane collection. So a little bit of background on A-Plan is that they are an insurance company that specialize in high-end cars in the UK. So if you've got a car that's worth over 80,000 pounds, make sure you give them a call and quote Kid in a Sweet Shop to find out more. Right back to today's episode. We come down to meet this brilliant man called Tony Robinson, who has an incredible collection. So let's go and meet him. Where is he? There you are. Hi, Tony. Oh, I'm Jody. Hi. Jody, how Lovely are you? you? Yeah. Mm. I'm good, wow. thank you very much. Yeah. So here you are. Um, oh, you have a delage. Well, uh, look, wait, look, seeing as you've come through that door <laughs> to surprise me. Yes. Um, yeah, so we could uh, show you the very oldest car I've got. Yeah. To begin with, this okay. is a 1913 oh delage. Um, it's called a sport about, um, probably rebodied in its early life. Um, it's um, very difficult to look after and it's very difficult to drive because the pedals don't work in the way that pedals normally Normal. work on yeah, cars. Exactly. So you've got a clutch pedal in the middle, a brake pedal on the left stuff going on. Okay. Um, Do you take it out often though, uh, even uh, if it's I, I haven't driven it a lot. And the only reason for that is it's just been through five to six years worth of engine, gearbox and everything's just been Have rebuilt. You? Wow. It's just okay. come back and uh, we've got some lovely weather going on. So I'm looking forward to getting out to drive it. Well, well done. It's absolutely beautiful. And going from the Delage, I can see there's an array of Well, roses. look, <coughs> this is a bit, today, this garage um, is a bit Rolls-Royce City-ish. Yes, um, I can see. You know, all of my cars are here to be used. And yeah. I drive everything. Yeah. Nothing is sitting here. Yeah. No, there's no garage queens in my uh, business. You know, we don't <laughs> yeah. do that. Um, I, I love Rolls-Royces. I mm -hmm. think as I grew up, and I mean, even when I was in my teens, uh, I thought one day I'd like to really impress my mum Right. Um, by um, a having a Rolls Royce because yes, it, it, it was always a sort it was of like a pinnacle. Wasn't it was it? a hallmark like... of success, you know. Yeah. So, um, so I really wanted to impress my mum. Um, did you get one? Sa sadly, she died before I got the first Rolls Royce, oh, and that's sorry. the way it goes, isn't it? But, um, yeah. uh, but um, I love Rolls Royces. They're fabulously over-engineered. Yes. They're beautifully made. Yes. People are afraid of some of the older ones, so think they're Why? going to be terribly difficult to look after. Talking about and, the older ones. Well, here is an know. older one. Um, this is a, a 1980 uh, Silver Shadow 2. It's great. We, well, look, we can't leave the Rolls Royces yes, without talking on, about this one. Oh, we've got oh, because gosh, another one. This, this is a Rolls Royce Phantom Coupe. Yes, yes. They're, they're incredibly rare. They're a little bit like luxury yachts yes. because they've got fittings uh -huh. which really go more into the luxury yacht zone than necessarily kind of like cars compartments that champagne well, glasses yeah uh, not in this one i've got champagne glasses in other cars but this one just sit inside for a minute jody okay. have a look okay. yeah. um oh wow oh so so when i say to you it's a little bit like a yacht so why is it yes. like a yacht? Look at the wood yes, uh, coming exactly. up around here and around here. Beautiful. It's like a, a really nicely fitted out super yacht. Absolutely. Um, I, I use all of these cars and two naughty little border terriers often go in the back. So there's a bit of a rug in the back there for them this to protect the seat. a gorgeous driving position, isn't it? It's, it's fantastic. It's completely it, like encased and just... It, it's, you're going it's fantastic. to have a wonderful waft yeah, around yeah. Where it's a wafter. Going. It it's is a definitely wafter. a wafter. It's beautiful. This is a very bad boy. Yeah. Um, that is a CLK yep. Mercedes, of course, yep. Black Series. Yep. Uh, yeah, well. CLK 63 Black Series, to be mm -hmm. correct. And it's one of 34 that came to England. Yeah. And it is um, the only one, Brilliant. the only one that came to England with a leather interior. Are you joking? 
So it's a really comfortable thing. Oh, look at that. Uh, it is... <coughs> Uh, it's fabulous. It's extremely quick. Extremely loud. Uh, pretty loud and it likes to be a bit tail happy. Yes. So for the nervous driver, I that's know. not the one to choose. Love it. And it's not one to take out in the wet the particularly. The series are so much fun. Come on, TVR. We, this we've is, got a very important TVR. This is very special. Well, it's a very special one. As I said to you, everything in this garage is a bit special. Yeah. This was the TVR 2006 Motor Show car. Yeah. You may remember TVR got bought by a guy uh, caught with a surname Smolensky, Russian yes, chap. Yes, I do. And he's often um, cursed as being the man that bankrupted TVR. Yes, I remember this very well. Um, technically, that's correct. But on the other hand, he, he really wanted to bring the quality of TVRs up to another level. And then we come over here. Um, yes. You know, I, I'm often asked, what, what is my favourite car? Yeah. And I've, over the years, I've always said, look, I, I don't have a favourite car. Um, so cars are so many different characteristics. How can you possibly have a, one that you can say is your favourite? Over recent time, I've had to say my favourite car is a Nissan GTR. They are phenomenal to drive. They really they, are. They're spectacular things. Everything that you can think of is brilliant, they're comfortable, they're epically fast, they're fabulously reliable, mm. uh, they're brilliant. And this they're one great is... to drive as well. well. They're just... Indeed. Wow, what an amazing collection. And I just love, you know, the love of Rolls-Royce. No, you know, it is, yeah. It is the epitome of luxury and, and you know, the, the array that you've got is fantastic. Yeah. Well, we're going to see some more in a minute. Have you got more? <laughs> no way. <laughs> Okay, all right, well take me to, to, where do we go? Are we walking, are we? Well, let me get this one out and then we're gonna go are in this gonna one. Are we gonna go driving? Mm -hmm. Wow. We're off. Okay. <laughs> this is lovely, isn't it? And we've got the most perfect weather in the silver shadow too. And so where did this love of cars come from? Were you like a little boy and you had a, picture up on the wall or was it your I, I was a little boy or... I was a little boy playing with the cars on the end of my bed yeah. and I had those little corgi things and pinky yeah. toys or whatever yeah. they were and I loved playing with them I did traffic jams I did overtaking maneuvers on the bed you know it was all going on <laughs> lovely and and then I guess it was about 1967 yeah somebody invented the Lamborghini Miura and when I looked at that that was really in my opinion what seemed to be the first supercar. I mean um, honestly stunning. Yeah I mean it, it, it sort of lit up my passion for cars forever really at that point. Did you ever race? Is, it, is yeah, that something well, that... I, I've raced a bit. Yeah. Um, I've rallied a lot more. So and rallying. rallying is really yeah. the bit that I connect with very well. Wow, okay. Uh, it it's probably comes out of spending far too many years driving far too fast down B roads and little back <laughs> country, country lanes, lanes where I got used to the yeah. undulating tarmac and the uh, imperfections yeah. in the road. Uh, and I connected very happily and fairly successfully with yeah. the whole rally thing. Oh, oh, look in there. Yeah, there are a few things in there, JD. You're going to go to the other sweet shop. <laughs> oh, come on, let's go. This is amazing. Look at this. Well, there are a few things in here which are a bit different. You so let's boy show racer. you. I know, Look it's terrible, isn't it, really? Oh my so, God, you've got... Um, yeah, it's one of those, X yes. X What's it called? <laughs> it's a XL1. XL1. It, it is one of 23 that got into England. Um, I've never seen it in the flesh. No, it, it was designed to be, be the world's most fuel efficient car. Yes. And it was, it's almost a prototype. It's, it's a sort of low production volume, late prototype, if you like. Um, I've had on a mixed number of journeys during the course of one day, yeah. I've actually managed to get 260 to the gallon out of it. Um, the other day I was driving, I was on 210, 215. 
miles to the gallon. Yeah. So it, it's got a little diesel engine. Um, it's really, uh, much of it is electric. It's a hybrid, obviously. Yes, fantastic. And um, my, my typical fuel consumption in it is about 145 miles to the gallon. <laughs> so it, it was created to be the world's most fuel efficient car. Have a look at this. You didn't expect to see gull wing doors. Oh, look at that. And oh, fantastic inside. There's your, um, there's your Lambo. Yeah. Um, I think this is one of the greatest Lamborghinis. I think it's one of the greatest engines. Ever. It's fantastic. And of course it lights up for you. Yeah, it's <clears> beautiful. And it sort of even makes noises that, well, why, why did it make that noise? Well, because it did. Cause you know, because it's a Lamborghini. It's a Lambo. <laughs> well, we love it. Can we just do this wonderful line of Porsches? Well, of course. Okay. Um, look, you, you can't have a car collection and call it a car collection if you haven't got some Porsches. And, <laughs> no, right? Um, they're not all in here, the ones that I own, oh, but they're... this is a little selection. Nine this one, very important car, that. Um, oh. 27 came into England. Oh, uh, hang on, so this is the... This is a 911 this? Turbo S exclusive. Uh, they started on the assembly line in Porsche in the normal manner. Yeah but they were all finished off in the special works department. Yeah. And uh, this particular car was um, created for Mark Webber. It's the only one in the world that's actually in silver. I, I mentioned it to a little community I belong to um, on WhatsApp, and I got a response back from Shmi, who yes. said to me, ah, I took some video of that car when it was in yeah. the special works department being finished off. Amazing. And here it all is. So I've now got some wonderful pictures uh, or video of, of the of car down in the, the special factory. works department. Brilliant. Yeah. Is any of these got a very special part in your heart that would never leave? It, it would be very difficult for me to sell any of these. Any of those cars. <laughs> yeah, I, um, so. I mean, the little VW XL one, why, no. why would I ever sell it? No. Um, you know, those are special things, really. What an amazing little garage. And we've even got a smart Yeah, the Brabus. Brabus. I know, we went brilliant past fun. the poor Brabus. No, but brilliant fun. Uh, you can go out and drive yeah. that, uh, drive the sideways. socks off it. Sideways, well, you, Sideways. sideways. But you could drive the socks off it mm. and not be wrecking the opportunity of earning a driving licence <laughs> ongoing, you know, so. Yeah. Great and, fun. And I did, I think I spotted yeah, you might have done. Mm. Jodie spot in there, was it a little... Was it? Yeah, so Jody, you've it's spotted little... more oh secrets my God. going oh on. Oh my... What the frick? I mean, I can't even... That... Oh, God, the Bentley. But should we start with the Shelby? Well, the Shelby GT500, yeah. This is actually um, a 2011 car that I bought brand new. And, um, well, it's still with me 12 years later, so it's doing well. That's it's doing passing well. the test, it's isn't it? It's passed you know? the 10 years. <laughs> oh, yeah, what so a brilliant piece of American just... It, it, oh. It's wonderfully basic, incredibly yeah. simple in terms of its design and engineering, except for it's got a fantastic engine. V8 yeah. uh, engine. And it does chuck out about 560, 570 brake horsepower, straight into the back wheels. Um, it's all very oh, live spin. rear axle. Um, yes, it will spin them up. It will do all sorts it's of tricks. Fabulous. But it's a great thing. 1952 Rolls Royce. <laughs> oh, the helicopter. Oh, know, <laughs> well, kind of yeah, that is the helicopter. Is this a full working helicopter? Uh, well, of course it is, yeah. It's um, an Enstrom 480B. Um, I, I actually passed my uh, license EPL. to fly it last year, last March. Well done. And, um, you know, people give up on life too early, in my opinion. And um, oh my why, why can you not learn to fly a he helicopter? So, this is, so you just, and um, off you go. And off you go, yeah. So, um, yeah, it's a great toy. A, 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 a nice big green and why toy. Are well, these are very safe. You know, yes. to me, a helicopter is all about safety. Absolutely. When I first got into discussions with people about owning a helicopter, mm -hmm. uh, I, I was almost drilled into and forced into, you're going to buy an Enstrom 480, because okay. it's about as safe as you're ever going to find. Not a you can get a helicopter. Bell or a... No. Uh, as a something to learn in, 
a nice sort of fairly small compact helicopter. Yes. It will seat five people and um, it, it, they're just super safe. They, they've been used extensively for helicopter aerobatics just because they can tolerate they can some of the things of that force. other helicopters might not tolerate. Mm. So uh, this, this was the 1952 Rolls-Royce Paris motor show car and it, it's a bit special. It, it's believed to have only done about 61,000 miles and actually it's completely original. Uh, it's probably had the odd little paint repair over the years as, as is bound to happen. But fundamentally, it's a completely original 1952 Rolls Royce. So you went in to buy an Audi Quattro and came did. out with this? Yes. I think you made a good decision, and I'm a massive fan of the Quattro. Oh, look! Oh, it's just... <laughs> just heavenly. So, JD, let me show you the back seat, because it's got a lot of patina, it's a, an yes. original piece of uh, leather work on there. Uh, I lend this to friends to go and get married in and do weddings and uh, it's done plenty of weddings since it's been with me, including my daughters. Fantastic. This particular car is actually quite a famous car. Yes. Um, famous not least of all because it's been in films with uh, Elizabeth Taylor yes. and Peter Sellers and Sophia Loren. In fact, Peter Sellers and Sophia Loren together and Elizabeth Taylor. So um, it, it's got lots of history and it's a really special thing. Have a look in the back because look. I mean, it's beautiful and it's coming back to me, this car. Yeah, well, you know, this is a car that won um, its yeah. class at Salon Privé yes. um, three years ago. Yes. It won fit for a king. Yes. It is fit for I a king. I, I Jodie, it's fit for you. I think I uh, remember. In you go. I think I remember judging it. <laughs> yeah, you do. And I think yeah. I remember putting it first. Oh, good. Well, that's good to know. But just look at it. Look at just the attention to detail. That, oh, it's just utterly fabulous. Certainly one of my favourites amongst all of the cars that I've got. It's a beautiful thing. It's not a daily driver, but when you drive it, it's magnificent. I love it. I absolutely love it. And then, with and the then, beautiful Bentley beside it. Well, but what? <clears throat> I mean, explain. This is a very, very special. The, the, car. This, this is a, a Bentley, Bentley gangster car, really. Um, but it is based on the one and only Bentley Blue Train. Yeah. The story of which was that it raced a train. Yeah. From Cannes, mm -hmm. the car went to Pall Mall and beat the train going from Cannes to Calais mm -hmm. by a few minutes. It was driven by a guy called Wolf Barnato, yes. who was one of the Bentley boys, yeah. raced in the 24-hour races that Bentley became very famous for. Yeah. And he was obviously a bit of a man and uh, laid a bet that he could beat the train. And that is what gave rise to all of the things that uh, Top Gear later have done. Of doing the with chasing. All the yep. racing the train. Uh, this particular um, car is um, actually a recreation of the blue train, mm -hmm. built by a company down in Wales mm -hmm. uh, who do a fantastic job. Ev everything on the car is fundamentally original, original. re-engineered to the correct period specification. So let's get you in there, Jodie. Um, take up the driving seat. It's just gorgeous. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, and you have a sunroof? Yeah, that'll uh, that slide all off. the way back. It, it oh. is a, a 5.6 litre straight eight going on under the bonnet. You've got cocktail cabinets in the back. <laughs> you have actually got a third seat in the back, um, just in case you want to take an extra person with you. I love how he just has to sit sideways. I, I think he would just be the cocktail maker. Uh, absolutely. And so absolutely. he can just sit in the back, yeah. shaking and preparing. Quite so. <laughs> uh, actually, when I drive this car, which I do quite regularly, uh, you can hear the um, cut glass rattling and chiming away in the back. Uh, it's all rather charming, actually. But the engine is a real brute. Um, there we have some of the glassware. Oh, Tony, this is just... 
What a just extraordinary collection. I mean, I just, I mean, the Corvettes to the blue train to the, I mean, to the heli. It, it's a good mixture, isn't it? <laughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> it's the most fantastic collection. And it says so much about you as a person. Yes. You know, it really does. Completely mad. Really yeah. fun, you know, <laughs> love to enjoy life and waft around, but there's this kind of bad boy, kind of naughty, going sideways. It's just the most wonderful collection and thank you so much for showing me around and well, showing us you. around. Yeah, but well, thank you for coming over. Thank you for tracking me down. I know, sorry. And, um, yeah, so a great um, mixture of cars and we've got one or two special. other things still to go. You know? Have you, oh God, I can't handle it. <laughs> right, where are we up to next? You know, just as a little aside. Yes, go on. <clears throat> It's worth just starting this one up um, because it will sound different from what you expect. I mean, tones. I've just never seen anything like it. It's well, amazing. it's a nice little collection of cars, this one. Yes, um, sure however, yeah. I have got a couple of other things that you should have a quick look at. It's got more. It goes on. Well, I'm afraid it does. <laughs> But now, legend! <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing! <laughs> Unbelievable! Mm. What a brilliant driver you are! Oh, I've oh, got right. like proper adrenaline. Oh, well, what next? Wow, what wow! Next? You're all right. <laughs> oh my god, look at the time. I've been here all day. Oh my god. I'm late for picking up Indy. Oh my god. Well, I've got a plan. Have you? Yep. I need mm. to be there in 10 minutes. I'm not, I'm half an hour away. Let's fly. Come Let's on. Fly. Fly. Tones, I thought you were joking when you said <laughs> No, fly. no, I wasn't joking. If you want to be there in 10 minutes, this is the only way we're going to do it. It's an Enstrom 480B. It's an American helicopter yeah. and it's lovely. So it's let's get you in. First thing to do is knock the door. Yes. It's merely grab yes. hold of the seat as you climb in. Yeah, in, got it. I can't believe... Like, Left leg first. Two minutes ago, you were in a rally car. Now you're going to fly me in a helicopter. There you go. Tones, honestly, not just a pretty face, are you? <laughs> well, nobody ever said that, but anyway. 
Let's get you in there. Wow. Oh my God. Indy, I'm coming for you. 